Hey guys, Mr. Bostic here. You may have already been hearing things, uh, in fact, you might be as caught up as I am about current information regarding AP's announced plans to alter how they are administering the AP exams this year in light of the, the health crisis. But it seemed like a good idea for us to go ahead and update, have a, a general update on what the, the information is so far and how that's going to affect us apparently. So let's go ahead and dive on in. Uh, you, if you were paying close attention, well, you know, let's keep in mind, about half of you guys have taken APs last year, and some of you may be a little bit new to this, so the general format has normally been that they have two weeks of pre-scheduled exams, every exam has a particular slot, and the AP European History exam is usually, and currently, slated to be in the first week of those exams, as you see here, Wednesday the 6th and, as usual, in the afternoon slot, right? But it's kind of unclear whether or not they're going to be able to stick to that at, because they've already, at least one detail is that they've said something about two alternate possible times at which you could take this exam. So um, we're going to have to see if this is if this holds true or if this is completely scrapped for a new plan. That's part of the details that we're still waiting on. But let's keep in mind, this is original, the original schedule, and we'll see if that holds true for us at least as one of the possible slots. Uh, so what's the good news? Maybe. Well, they've already announced that they're only going to be covering about three-fourths or 75% of the course material, uh, what they call what most of the sco most schools would have already covered so far. Now, it, where exactly that cuts off is unclear, but some of the indications I've seen seem to suggest that it's before World War I. So at least in that sense, that might be a little helpful, um, having to, you know, sort of, rush through uh, what, what does remain to us. Um, it's probably good news also, of course, that it's going to be held online. Uh, that, that may be the only, apparently the only option, essentially, for us at that point in time, or may easily be. And they've said that it's going to be accessible through computer or tablet or phone. So if they're, they're really you know trying to make it clear their accessibility is going to be very broad. And they've also said it's going to be shorter, which may be good news. I believe 45 minutes is the time duration that I've seen, but what exactly that means is is possibly scary. The bad news, and this is where it kind of turns into that, is that they said it's going to be a variety of free response, which generally for them means essay. Now, you know, that's partly a name for an old style of, of essay, and it's partly a name that they seem to be a using for all essays at this point. And that leads on to the next point, which is it looks like the multiple choice component, which is usually the biggest weight on the test and what we've been preparing for most, obviously, might be entirely gone. And that's going to be a challenge. Also, if it's a 45 minute exam, <clears throat> what does that mean? Does that mean it's going to be one DBQ document based question or a mixture of the other forms of essay, which are called you know, short answer questions or long essay questions. It's kind of foggy so far, and we're going to have to see. They have, as it says here, you know, where does that leave us? They promise details by April 3rd. Now, that's coming up soon, right? That's this Friday. And therefore, we're, we're going to know more in a few days. But it, it's, it's still difficult to see exactly how we need to shift. I mean, clearly... We do have more content that we need to be able to focus on, but the way in which we do that is going to have to shift. So we're going to have to retrench into essay mode at this point, which is harder since we're not together. Um, there have traditionally one way I like to uh, to work with essays is not only having you guys practice the various kinds of essay, but also practice grading each other. Um, there may be some ways through Jupiter we can look at doing that, um, giving each other kind of feedback, etc., and because it's helpful, it's it. Learning how to grade your own essay and therefore edit, you know, your own sense of how to write an essay well, is hard. It's a little easier to see it with somebody else's essay, and that practice is something that we're going to have to forego possibly since we can't meet. But we'll see. There may be a way that we can do that as well. And you know, we're also, you know, have before us that this whole question until April third. I'm, I'm presuming they'll announce it at that point exactly which kinds of essays and which co or which combination of kinds of essays they're going to give. And that's going to have a lot to do with how we need to prepare. So, you know, the remaining questions, you know, what's 
what's going to happen with the remaining content? Well, let's kind of take it step by step. Review chapters, readings. Well, yeah, we're going to need to continue that, and we're going to have to adjust a little bit how we do it. In some ways, probably speed up how we do that, but that obviously has to continue. Quizzes over them? Yep, we're going to need to keep quizzing over them. In fact, it's probably going to be the need. It's probably going to need to be the main type of grades that we will continue to have. Um, homework grades? No, I think quizzes are going to have to do. But of course, you know, if you don't read, then that's that's going to present a, a real problem. Of course, not just for the quizzes, but just your general preparation. So, yeah, the reading you guys need to keep up with the reading, and you do have all of the review chapters posted for you to be able to do that. Um, we'll, we'll talk concretely very soon about exactly how far that content goes. But it, for the time being, we're going to need to keep up that process probably in a sped up way. How about tests? Well. Probably mostly essays are what we're going to have to, to focus on at this point. I'm not going to, don't worry, I'm not going to throw you under the bus. Uh, we, we, we will talk very specifically about the different kinds of essays, especially once we know which kind are going to show up on the test. And it, it, and the first time we confront one, your main grade will mostly focus on following the, the expectations that that kind of essay carries with it. As far as other kinds of tests, we will most likely have one big other kind of content test just to kind of keep and help us keep in mind, that, you know, for essays, guys, you still need to know content and we, we need to stay sharp on that and continue, you know, building our content as we're focusing primarily on, you know, test preparation coming soon. You know, what else is there? Um, well, another new thing that you haven't seen so far is... Uh, a type of compressed note sheets that I have used in years past that will, I think, hopefully be of some help to you guys. And I'll be posting some of those soon. Also, um, and this is getting bigger and bigger, uh, the AP review videos. Um, you've already got the links to all of those, and they go topic by topic. And frankly, you can go look at the websites or just the video channels, the YouTube channels, for either of the particular professors that that I've given you in the, in the previous sort of sampling. And you, you can also look at the links page that I gave and posted to you. And th those, I think you should find quite helpful. Um, Tom Ritchie does focus a lot on particular styles of essay. And I think you'd find some of his, in fact, both of those, those professors have some videos that would be useful looking at the various styles of essay you know, we may pull some of those straight into to our class as well, but they, they, they'd offer you a good amount of help. AP itself is offering free online tutorials and live streams. And so, you know, go, um, take a look, sign up. I mean, well, sign up, you already had to sign up. Um, sign on to, to AP Central and take a look at what they're offering. They're uh, trying to make as much available as possible to really help everyone adjust and catch up. One, because of the, the long distance learning that pretty much everyone is having to, to, to make do with at this point, and also in preparation for an altered kind of test. So take a look at that. All right. um, as soon as I know any kind of expanded information or concrete information beyond this about the revised format details, I will be letting you guys know, and we will be concretizing all this stuff soon. But it seemed like a good idea for us to talk about at least what we kind of know and what that looks like it's going to do for us regarding our class at this point. And in the next few days, clearly we'll know a little bit more and we'll head on from there. And hopefully we can take advantage of what advantages this offers to us, especially in terms of curtailed material. Uh, being able to cut out a little bit of the content is a help. And we'll uh, we'll move on from there. Hope everybody's doing really well at home. It, it, it's been kind of sad not seeing you guys uh, in, for a while at this point. And uh, but, you know, we're going to make the best of it. We'll do everything we can to prepare with the content and with the style of the test. And and hopefully, hopefully all will go well despite being on this uh, Corona coaster. All right, guys, take care, and I'll talk to you soon. See you later.